Hello, I'm going to scrapbook this Instagram from my husband's Instagram feed and it's actually a photo that I wasn't present for but I'm going to scrapbook it anyways. I do this a lot, especially in the summer months when my uh, husband is home and the kids are home and I'm at work. So I'm just having a look through the Summer Nights kit from Scraptastic and I am loving that piece of paper with the color bands down it, kind of all blended together. It's really beautiful and I knew right away as soon as I saw it that I wanted it to be the background for my layout and so I'm just having a look at these cards to try to determine whether I might be able to use any of them and I'm not going to but I've picked out a couple of papers there so I have that striped one which is from um, so okay the background paper is from Simple Stories from the Good Day Sunshine collection and I'm just having a look at the stamp set and I want to um, make an ice cream and I'm kind of choosing my ink colors. I chose the baked brown sugar uh, because that will be the waffle cone and then I chose two shades like a shade of pink and a shade of blue. The pink is strawberry slush, the blue is Bermuda Bay and then I grabbed um, the celery color. I forget what the, exactly it's called. Uh, certainly celery maybe and they're all from Stampin' Up! And because I'm going to do a you know more than a small amount of stamping um, and I wasn't sure if I was going to make a couple of extras here for cards so I took out my sk stamping scrub pad which is from Stampin' Up! The first time I stamped that it was just too juicy so it's it it didn't uh, stamp all that nicely so I re-stamped it and now here's the cert I think it's called Certainly Celery and I'm making the middle I guess the bottom layer of ice cream out of that and I stamped it twice just I don't know it wasn't any better the second time they're both pretty nice um, and here's the pink and I'm stamping the top out of that and then oh my power went out surprisingly you guys should be getting used to this by now hey um, this time the first time it was for we don't know why it was out but this time um, so I'm just stamping another there was kind of like a top layer of the, that ice cream um, stamp and it has sprinkles and an outline on it so I just used Bermuda Bay for the sprinkles and the outline now I'm going to cut around it so I'm just going to fussy cut these shapes and uh, I just moved, you didn't see it because it transitions so quickly, but I did have to move up to my dining room table. I'm just um, scrapbooking by the window right now. Um, and so the light of the window is all that you have to, to um, see my scrapbooking by. So I'm sorry that this video is going to be quite a bit darker than most of mine, um, but I hope that you can see it anyways. So one tip for you guys for layering these stamps together is that you want to leave a little bit of a paper handle on the top. So see how I am fussy cutting around this green layer of ice cream but I've left a piece of white there and so only the top one should be cut all the way around. I'm also going to leave a handle on the ice cream cone. That will allow me a place to put the glue so that these pieces can all layer together. Otherwise it would be really difficult to um, glue them together. So I'm taking my Bermuda Bay um, marker and that's the nice thing about the Stampin' Up! inks is that they all come with markers as well and there you see me just putting some glue on that little tab, the little white paper tab that I have. I think I called it a handle before. And um, so the Bermuda Bay pen allowed me to outline around the the second layer of like the bottom layer of ice cream and also around the waffle cone that way the whole thing matches otherwise just the top layer would have been outlined and I think it would have looked a little bit not as nice so I stamped the word yum and I'm going to fussy cut around it as well and I really love how that looks uh, but I didn't I couldn't figure out a way to use it on the layout so um, this piece I will I just put in with my die cuts and I will use it later. I was thinking about just layering it on top of the ice cream cone but I've decided I ended up going with a different look. So here I'm thinking about putting this homemade embellishment that I have the ice cream cone. I'm thinking about putting it on something so either a die cut or a sticker or something that I can kind of use to emphasize it. So at first I picked out that sun and then I picked out this card 
These are all from, from Simple Stories from the Good Day Sunshine collection, all of the things that I'm looking at right now, except for this. This is from the hashtag Sunshine collection from American Crafts. And I'm going to find a sticker on this that's going to be good for the um, ice cream embellishment. There's actually already an ice cream on this um, on this sticker, but yeah, so I'm kind of thinking about it here. I noticed that the exact same sun was in the sticker version as the die cut version, and um, I decided to use the sun on that card because it's a different finish, so it's shinier because it's a sticker. So I'm going to put the die cut sun away for a different use at some other point. So there's that uh, sticker from the hashtag sunshine collection from American Crafts that you saw me pull out. I just put it on a piece of wax paper so it won't stick to anything while I'm deciding what to do. So I was thinking about doing hashtag yum, which would have been good, but I didn't do it. <laughs> Um, and now I'm thinking about what can I layer over this sun because I think I've decided I'm not going to, I'm going to kind of have two different embellishments going on here. One will be the um, ice cream with the, uh, with the long kind of journaling piece and then the other will be this. And that banner that says a perfect day is really nice because it was kind of a perfectly sunshiny day. Um, and then I also really liked the glasses and one of the people in the photo is wearing glasses so I thought that was kind of appropriate. And also sometimes you see sunshines where sun, suns wearing um, sunglasses and so you know I thought that's kind of a motif that we're used to seeing so I thought it would work okay. So I'm kind of playing around with the layout right now, like the des the overall design of the layout. And at first I was thinking I'd do this kind of like a zigzaggy, almost like a backwards Z look. Um, but I'm not going to end up doing that. I'm going to go with more of a rectangle look, which is kind of typical for me. I'm, I was trying to do something different, but I just didn't like the way it was it was looking, so I, I decided not to. So I'm cutting up tiny little pieces of dimensional adhesive and putting them on these glasses in such a way that you can't see them. Um, and that's just going to let the glasses pop up a little bit and make it easier to layer them with this little banner that says a perfect day. And I want to put the banner so that there's some sun hanging under it. So I'm moving it up a little bit on that sun. And then I want the glasses to kind of look like they're sitting in the upper part of the sun so that it looks like the sun is wearing the glasses. But I also want them to kind of layer down over the banner. So that's how that ended up. And now here's where I, I kind of turf my idea to do that zigzaggy kind of overall shape of my layout and go with a rectangle. Good old dependable rectangles. They always work. So I just uh, cut off the top strip because I wanted it to be a plain pink rectangle. I didn't want to have the red trim around it that came on this paper. This is the, uh, this paper is from, it's from American Crafts from the hashtag Sunshine Collection. And uh, yeah, I, I like I like the pink. It gives a nice amount of um, buffer around the photos and the decorative elements that are going to be on this layout and then the bright cheerful bands of color that's on the background. So it kind of provides some separation between the foreground and the background, if that makes any sense. So now, oh, I just had to go get myself a cup of coffee. The, the power is still out, but my husband um, figured out a way for us to have coffee anyways. <laughs> um, I'm going to pop up this ice cream on some dimensional adhesive. So I'm just putting that on there now. And then I'm going to position the ice cream in such a way that it completely covers the ice cream that is below it. But I want the hashtag to completely show because it's going to be part of, at this point I haven't decided whether it's going to be a subtitle or just a phrase that's on the layout or if, it, or if the title is actually going to be sugar. The, I end up going with having sugar just be the title, um, but I wasn't sure at this point. So when I pulled that S off, I actually pulled off the um, sticky part, so I had to glue it with um, my glue pen. I turned off the camera in between doing things a lot more on this one because my camera was on battery power and I didn't want to run out before I was finished the layout. So um, I tried to tape as much as the process as possible, but when I was kind of walking away from my table to go get something from the basement, for example, I made sure I turned it off so that I wouldn't waste battery. 
So these are the letter stickers that come in the Summer Nights kit and um, they're they're peeling off a little bit. I'm not sure if it's because I can't quite see what I'm doing or because it's actually quite dark like my camera has um, it has um, what's that called an exposure adjustment and so it was actually darker than what it looks like on the video right now but anyhow I was peeling the stickers up off of the sticky part so I had to use a bit of glue there to keep them to keep them in place so there's what that looks like it's a cute little embellishment I like I like personalizing stickers by adding stuff and um, those stamps provided a great opportunity to put a uh, ice cream on this ice cream related uh, layout Suga is the name of a um, of an ice cream shop that's in the public gardens in Halifax. For a long time there was no shops allowed in the public gardens but a couple of years ago they opened up a little coffee shop and, a, and an ice cream store in there. Um, and so yeah. So uh, I'm feeling like I need some more uh, pattern and so this brightly colored diagonal stripe is awesome and I simply had to use it because it's I just love 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 it. This paper is from Bella Boulevard. It is from the collection called um, Scattered Sprinkles. And so I just snipped into it to show where I wanted to cut it so that it would uh, layer properly. Basically I want the bottom part of the ice cream cone to hang off the edge of the striped paper uh, so that it goes onto the background paper and yeah so that's that's why I cut it the way I cut it and yeah so you'll take you'll see me take my time kind of positioning these things just because I want it the way I want it. I'm peeling off the wax paper. It didn't come off all the way, but it doesn't really matter. There's a pop dot there holding the ice cream that will hold the ice cream in place. And so there we go. See how the tip of the ice cream is falling down off the edge and also the edge of the sticker is hanging off as well. So now um, at the last minute I decided to do some outlining. So I have my 0.03 pen and I'm just going to take my time and outline because I don't want to go off the edges here where my papers are already layered. I have to take my time a little bit more than usual. And this just finishes off the papers and gives them a little bit more interest and a little bit more definition between the papers. And in this case, um, all of my papers do contrast quite nicely with one another. So I'm doing the outlining more just for my signature look than for any real design purpose. It's just that's that's what I like to do. So that's what I'm doing. Um, the pink paper certainly does stand out quite a lot from the colored paper below it. And then the striped paper stands out from both of the other two as well. So here I am. Um, I picked out these two hearts from the Simple Stories die cuts that came in the kit. And I'm thinking about about something to put underneath of them. The reason is that see that little pink um, window of space in between them? Thought about that for a second but I'm not sure exactly where my clusters are going to go so I didn't want to put that down yet. Um, so I'm thinking about putting something in that little space. There's the word summer. I'm going to cover the word summer with another word summer, <laughs> with another summer, just because I like the interest of having that uh, banner on the heart instead of having it be, and this is just another way to, to dress up stickers and pre-made embellishments so that, oh, I really like that, but I didn't go with that. That would have been nice too. Um, instead, I'm going to cut this uh, die cut card. These are also from Simple Stories from the Good Day Sunshine collection and they came in the kit. So I'm going to outline them before I, I um, glue them down. And so I was talking about that little bit of space on the pink paper. I'm going to try to remember to come back to that. So I'm outlining this just because um, I've outlined my uh, all my other layered paper and so I'm going to outline this so that it, it matches with those. And I'm putting it so that the polka dots, like the, the holes, are visible. So there we go. And I just want it to look like it's one piece of paper. So I want them to relatively line up relatively nicely. 
and uh, yeah so there's that hole in the pink with the pink paper showing through between the two hearts right kind of to the to the left of this heart and above the other heart normally I would put something under those hearts um, but I want this layout to look a little bit airier or spacey or kind of like light I guess is what I want to say not spacey but but light um, and so I'm just going to leave that. It's, I think design-wise it's called trapped white space. But um, I don't really mind it there. I think it allows all of the elements to kind of breathe and have a bit of space for you to take them all in. And so I'm going to leave it. Oops, there's Naomi. And right now I think I'm having a look to decide if there's something that I want to add into that space just to cover it up but I'm going to decide not to. Thinking about putting a title here, I was going to put the title, We All Scream for Ice Cream, because that's the hashtag I think that Scott put on that photo on Instagram, but I'm deciding not to because I, I think I'm just gonna use the word sugar. That allows this really beautiful background paper to just kind of not be, not have any title competing for it. So I moved my layout up a little bit to give myself room for the journaling to um, kind of go down into the light blue part but not come too close to the edge of the bottom. And now the, the journaling looks a little bit like it's hanging there, like it doesn't, like it, uh, like my journaling was longer than I expected it to be. It kind of was. And so I'm putting this Life is Beautiful tag and it also came from the Simple Stories. But you'll notice that, that it's a banner. Um, it kind of finishes off the um, the journaling and makes it look like I put the journaling there on purpose, like I planned for it to be there. I was really just kind of something I put in at the end. Um, that banner has a different look to it than anything else on the layout. Everything else is very white and crisp and that banner has a modeled almost like a dirty look. And so here I am, I'm just going to put this strip of days of the week, which was the off cut from the uh, paper from the American Crafts hashtag sunshine collection, which is the pink grid background. And there I wrinkled the background paper at this point. Um, my window was open and uh, the everything was very damp. I had to have the window open because it was really hot without any fans or air conditioning on. Um, so I'm taking a little um, geotag sticker from the uh, Simple Stories sticker sheet and now I'm using my Dear Lizzie roller date stamp to just put July 4th on here because this happened yesterday on July 4th which is a Friday. I was working that day. Um, so I just put the date on with a little row of hearts. Okay, so I thought I'd share with you guys something that I do when I go to crops. What I do is I bring one of these containers. It's an iris container. Not sure if you can see that logo. And what I've done is I have lined it with paper towel. Hang on, there we go. So I just used my uh, ATG to um, run a couple strips here and here and then down here and uh, then when I go to crops I just grab the mists that I think I might want to use and my little mist tag thing so I know what color is what and then when I want to sprinkle you'll see what I do next. Okay so here I am just doing some sprinkling in my little iris box and uh, yeah, so it's it's not, I do have to be a little bit more careful that I don't get spray pieces of mist or bits of mist um, on my work area, especially if I'm at someone else's house on their table or something, uh, because I don't want to ruin any of their surfaces. But uh, I actually love how the sprinkles came out today, a lot better than any other sprinkles I've done any time recently. So maybe this is the key, maybe I need to use this box every time. While I had my mists out, I just uh, sprayed that that sunshine wood veneer from the kit in taxi and that taxi was one of the colors I used for sprinkles as well and the other color was silver Mr. Huey's. So I am going to put that little sun right up there so it overlaps with the tag that is on the background of that piece with the sun and the glasses on it. I'm going to put a couple of enamel dots every here and there. So one down there with the geotag and three right here. There we go. 
thought about putting some over there beside the title, but I'm not going to. So now here's where, um, remember that life is beautiful tag that is different from the others? Well, this washi tape will balance that out because it's also different. So it's it's also not quite, it's, it's not as white. It has more of a dirty look to it. Not dirty, but just it has like a grayish, it's not as bright as all the other things on the layout. So now that life is beautiful little um, banner thing. And here I'm just wrinkling up the rest of the background paper because I couldn't get that piece that I accidentally wrinkled out and I wasn't confident that I could iron it later or wanted to and that sort of thing. So I am just stapling another little element up in the corner that's another die cut piece from the kit and I'm picking out a couple of stickers that are just strips of typewritten words and I'm putting them up there. That brings a little bit of white up to the top um, because there's, as I mentioned, there's a lot of pure white in this layout and I don't want the top to be all dingy. So those uh, stickers just provide a little bit of lightness for the top and, and helps it look like it coordinates with the rest of the layout. So here are my close-ups of the completed layout. I love how the paper is layered together. Um, that striped paper is one of my favorites and I absolutely love it peeking out like that. And I think my perfect day with the sunglasses and the sun, or they're not really sunglasses because they're clear, but um, I, I think that's really kind of quirky looking and, and uh, Jen is pretty quirky so that was kind of cool. Um, there's my date and little um, tiny secondary cluster down there and I did cut that strip uh, uneven on purpose so that I'd be able to have a little bit more interest down there. There is that stamped ice cream cone again with the title. And yeah, I really love how this layout turned out. It is a rather simple layout um, with without too much on it, but still just enough interest. And so here it is in the bright light and of my uh, of the photo studio downstairs. So thanks so much for checking this out. Sorry about the dim lighting of this one, but the power's back on now, obviously, because I'm narrating this. So I hope to get this up today, which is to July 5th, which is the day after this photo was taken. So I love scrapbooking things so quickly. Thanks so much for watching everybody and have a great scrappy week.